And for this holiday season, it's time to create new memories and new recipes as well. I am celebrating this season with Kaban Flaky Frozen Parathas to prepare yummy desserts. Welcome to the alternate use of frozen paratha series. I'm going to prepare cream roll and danishes. Yummy holiday treats. Let's first learn how to make puff pastry out of Kavan flaky frozen parathas. Here I have the frozen parathas. Remove the plastic. Into the baking tray, take some dry flour and place the parathas. Keep dusting flour and let them defrost slightly. Do not wait longer. I just want them to be just so slightly soft so that I can start working uh, with them. Alright, so let me show you how to make puff pastry using frozen parathas. So, here I have slightly defrosted paratha. As I said earlier, do not thaw them completely otherwise they become sticky. Now, if you want your puffs to be with many layers, you can use two parathas or you can use even single paratha. Single paratha also gives a quite good amount of uh, uh, thickness but if you want the really flaky with lots of layers of puff pastry then uh, what you can do take one paratha and apply ghee or butter sprinkle flour place another paratha on top of it and then sprinkle a little bit more flour on the rolling board and roll and make it bigger all right so roll to expand now just cut them into squares and never throw away the sides reserve them for later in many recipes like you can use them for decoration on pie because these parathas can be used for making pie as well so i'm going to make remaining puff pastry using parathas now a lot of people have been asking me whether uh, kovan paratha has eggs in it they don't have any eggs in them now ready puff pastry don't have any eggs in it as well but the desserts that you get from outside may have eggs in them so if you are looking for egg free desserts it's easy to make your own using kovan flaky frozen parathas preheat oven at 420 degrees fahrenheit now out of this square puff pastry roll a little bit and then make it a little bit bigger roll to expand it doesn't have to be perfect so like this and then cut into strips take one strip at a time and using the prepared foil cylinder start wrapping now when you wrap the trick is to overlay almost quarter of pastry like this if you want to make bigger rolls then take another strip and wrap around the same like so now I'm going to prepare the remaining rolls onto the baking tray dust dry flour and place all the rolls now be sure to keep the ends at the bottom in this case as you can see and here and started here so I'm just going to put that down like so and the same with the remaining rolls and the tray is ready to go into the preheated oven 420 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about 10 to 12 minutes or until 
nice golden brown color. And here I have the rolls ready. Look at them, perfectly baked rolls. While the rolls cool down, let's prepare the filling for the rolls. For the cream roll, I'm going to use whipping cream uh, for the filling. And also I'm going to add fruit jam. But the filling inside could be totally your favorite. To prepare the cream roll, here I have one cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to whip until stiff peak. Like so. Add sugar and beat one more time. But be sure to mix first so sugar don't fly all over. All right, add vanilla flavor. You can add your favorite flavor here. Here I have vanilla bean paste. Mix it. Now if you want to take your filling to the next level, add fruit jam. Just whip fruit jam a little bit and add into the cream. Now the key is not to mix everything but make kind of a swirl. Do not over mix jam with cream. So just gently fold in. So here we have yummy looking filling ready for the cream rolls. Now take the piping bag and fill up the stuffing inside the piping bag. Mm, smells amazing here. The rolls have cooled down as well. Carefully remove the foil. So just crank or squeeze the foil and pull carefully not to break the roll. And look at this. If you break any of the roll, don't worry, you can intact again uh, when stuff them so here i have the filling ready cream with jam and ready to fill into the roll look at this be sure to stop from the other side as well but hold horizontally instead of vertical the roll is ready and I'm going to stuff the remaining rolls. So here I have my next one, same thing or you can prepare variety of um, stuffings. And I'm going to finish the remaining rolls. One of the rolls completely broke so what I normally do with those kinds just put it in a plate and top it up with some cream and snack on it taste yummy let's plate up the cream rolls and here I have collected all the leftovers and let's create something unique dessert out of this I'm making cream cheese danishes from these leftovers dust some dry flour and take a couple of pieces from leftovers twist in the opposite direction like this and then just shape however you like and seal the ends pinch to seal and press so I'm just trying to basically shape it in a round. I'm gonna need one more piece of pastry and just press 
hopefully it stays while we bake. Just press the middle where we are going to fill up the cream cheese and if desired you can also put some fruits or jam, just stuff however you like. And I'm going to prepare the remaining danishes like this. Keep them covered. And for the danishes, I'm going to use cream cheese filling. Preparing the cream cheese mixture is pretty quick and easy. Here I have the quarter cup of room temperature softened cream cheese. To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of powdered sugar, vanilla bean paste. Vanilla bean paste is quite concentrated, so I just need two drops and mix really well so the cream cheese mixture is ready I have jam you can use your favorite jam strawberry jam peach so in to the prepared pastry first I'm going to spread cream cheese just in a center keep the outside clean like so and now on top of cream cheese jam just in a very center like so doesn't it look pretty already mm. take the baking tray dust dry flour and place the prepared danishes on the baking tray and the tray is ready to go into the preheated oven 420 degrees Fahrenheit here I have the cream cheese danishes ready look at them quite hot but look at the bottom perfectly baked danish bring them down onto the cooling rack When they have cooled completely, plate them up, bring them down onto the serving plate. Mm, look at this. All right, so what do you think of these desserts made out of kawan flaky frozen parathas? No one even could imagine that these are made from uh, frozen parathas. Also, I highly recommend to watch my playlist for preparing many many yummy recipes using ready kawan flaky frozen parathas. So I am going to just bite from this, the one that was broken. Mm, it smells so good already. Mm. Crispy. The whipping cream filling and with jam is just totally have one. Let's check the danish is made from leftovers. I definitely want that jam and cream cheese. Mm. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week. You can also visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinaris, Bonus Kitchen is everywhere. You can also watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire. And also I highly recommend to download my apps totally free. And you can just find everything in one place. Thanks for watching and see you soon. I am simply loving and enjoying developing recipes using Kawan Flaky Frozen Parathas.